Hi everyone, it's Marissa with BumblebeeApothecary.com. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'd like to share with you the one thing that I take every day for natural migraine prevention that really works. So this is different. This is probably not something that you have heard of for migraine headaches before. But let me tell you, I've tried many, many different things, and this is the thing that actually does work. If you have been on my channel for a little while, you'll know that I talk a lot about gut health and the GAPS diet. And in another video, more than one video really, I share my personal experience with the GAPS diet and how much it helped me. This is not a GAPS diet video. I did want to say, in case anybody was a little bit confused about the connection here, is that I did previously struggle with a lot of different kinds of headaches as well as lots of other chronic health problems before doing the GAPS diet and the GAPS diet healed all of those. Migraine headaches are a completely different type of headache than the ones that I was dealing with before then. They came along a little bit later in my life. I didn't get them terribly often, but every once in a while I would. And I finally figured out something that actually keeps them away for good. The headaches that I dealt with before doing the GAPS diet were things like fatigue headaches, being overwhelmed with stuff, not being able to deal with stress, digestion related feelings of just being unwell that would also have headaches with them, that kind of thing. A migraine headache on the other, time, on the other hand is a completely different type of situation. Migraines can be more or less severe, but they usually have symptoms like light sensitivity, mixed jumbled pieces of vision, loss of little pieces of vision, nausea, loss of appetite, just feeling disgusting and tired and awful, and then worst of all, the worst head pain and pressure that you can imagine. So that's what I'm talking about when I mean a migraine headache. And these kind of showed up somewhere around the same time that I was healing from the GAPS diet. And I always kind of wondered what's going on. Why is everything else healed and once in a while I still get a migraine? I tried lots of different natural remedies that I thought might help. Magnesium, which helps for other types of headaches, but it didn't completely get rid of the migraines. I tried different things to make sure that hormones were balanced. I drank a lot of red raspberry leaf tea. I tried different homeopathic remedies that were supposed to help with migraines. I tried Bach flower remedies. I tried avoiding certain types of food in case they were triggers. Some other things that I paid attention to were reducing stress in my life, trying to find good ways to deal with it if it did happen, making sure I was getting enough sleep. A lot of these things did seem to help somewhat, but none of them kept migraines away completely. I could follow my migraine-free protocol perfectly and a migraine every once in a while would still show up. And then sort of by accident, I stumbled on something that actually prevents migraines for good. During all of my pregnancies, I've had to supplement with something to boost my iron levels at one point or another. I learned that raw beef liver is one way that you can boost your iron levels. It's a form that is easily assimilated and used by the body. So I took raw beef liver pills, and I'm gonna explain exactly how I do that a little bit later, to help boost those iron levels. Well, after my second child was born, I still had a pretty big supply of my little homemade raw liver iron pills. And so I kept taking them for quite a while after he was born. And then sometime later, months after he was born, I stopped taking them because I had used them all up. And then I noticed that I got a migraine. And I thought, what changed? Every time that a migraine would happen, I would think, okay, what can I figure out? What happened? What's different? Why did this happen? And I thought, maybe it's those raw liver pills. And so I thought, well, I wasn't totally optimistic, but migraines are so miserable that I decided to go ahead and try it anyway. So I started up with the raw liver pills again. I took them faithfully every single day. And sure enough, as long as I took those every single day, I did not get a migraine. Now, some things that I kind of connected migraines with in the past were several different things, stress, loss of sleep, 
And an interesting thing about this is that my middle child, my second child, he was not an easy baby. He was not a good sleeper. I found out later that he has pretty severe tongue and lip ties and I really believe that that had a lot to do with it. Wish I would have known and been able to get those revised when he was a baby, but I didn't know at the time. Anyway, I was not getting a lot of sleep. I was pretty much always sleep deprived. And the fact that I was not getting enough sleep on such a regular basis and still did not get migraines while I was taking those raw liver pills, to me, was amazing. I thought, this is incredible. This is what I need. And sure enough, I have continued to this day to keep on taking those. I have slipped up, I think, once or twice where I've gone a length of time without taking the pills and I have gotten one or two migraines during that period of time. But as long as I take those raw liver pills faithfully, I do not get a migraine no matter what else is going on in my life. Now, I have some ideas for why this probably works and I would love to research this more and find out if this is the case. But I know a little bit about something called MTHFR gene mutation. If you're interested in what that is exactly, I can do another video where I explain it and go into a little bit more detail. So let me know in the comments if you're interested in learning a little bit more about that. But there are different things that I know about me. Um, the fact that my children all have tongue and lip ties is a big red flag. I have not been tested for this gene mutation, but I do plan on getting that done at some point just because I would like to know for sure. But I strongly suspect that I do have it. I really believe that the raw beef liver contains B vitamins and other nutrients that my body needs in a form that my body is actually able to use. Because I probably have the gene mutation, I don't think I'm able to use it, to use these nutrients from normal food like people without the gene mutation can. And that's why the raw beef liver is so helpful for keeping my body in balance and preventing migraines. So that's my theory. I'm gonna look into it a little bit more, but I wanted to go ahead and do this video now so that if there's anybody out there who has had a similar experience, who is open to trying something like this, I know it's a little different and it takes a little bit of getting used to, but I just wanted to get this out there so that if there is anybody suffering from migraines, that there's something that you could try and see if you're like me and see if it really does work for you. And now I wanna talk a little bit about how exactly I take the raw beef liver. I got this information on how to take raw beef liver safely from the Weston A. Price Foundation website, and I'll put a link below where you can read the directions that they list, as well as lots more information on the benefits of liver. So I've seen a few different ways of people taking it and I've tried them. One is to actually make a smoothie with raw beef liver. If you keep everything frozen, you can't really taste the beef liver. You can blend up some strawberries along with a little bit of water or milk and the raw beef liver and have a little smoothie or you can cut it up into little pieces that are the size of pills and swallow them whole. For me, that's the way that I like to do it. It's just fastest and easiest and the best way to fit it into my schedule, I find. So what you do is, first of all, you wanna source the highest quality organically raised grass-fed beef liver that you can. You wanna freeze it for 14 days so that you kill any pathogens that might be in it. And then you Thaw it slightly so it's still like halfway frozen and then cut it into small little pieces that are the size of pills that you could easily swallow. And then you wanna freeze those on like a cookie sheet with parchment paper. And then once they're frozen, you can store them in a different container. You take some of those. I usually try to take about two to three tablespoons worth of liver every day. You uh, run them under some warm water. So to soften them, if you try to swallow them when they're still frozen, they kind of have hard edges that can sometimes kind of be uncomfortable to swallow. So if you thaw them a little bit, you, I take a drink of something. Straight water works, but I like something with a little bit of flavor. So I take a magnesium supplement that is the Natural Calm, and I find that this is a really good way to take the liver. So I mix up my magnesium drink, it's kind of fizzy, and then that way it kind of tastes like something. I put some of that in my mouth, I get my beef liver ready, I pop that into my mouth, swallow it down, and then drink the magnesium drink, and you can't taste a thing, I promise you. Really, the weird thing about it is just the thought of what you're doing. Um, you can't really 
feel that you're swallowing anything weird. You definitely can't taste it at all and it just goes right down. The more times you do it, the more you get used to it. And let me tell you, swallowing something weird is nothing <laughs> compared to dealing with a migraine. So for me, it's totally worth it. And so that is what I do for natural migraine prevention that really does work. Again, let me know what your guys' thoughts are in the comments below. Would you ever try something like this? Have you ever struggled with migraines before? Let me know what you think. Below, I'll have a link to my blog post where I go into a little bit more depth and some more information about some of the things I've tried and my thoughts on it. So there'll be a link below for that. If you're new to my channel, I always like to mention my freebies that I have. I have a free DIY home remedy recipes ebook and I'll put a link below in the description to that free ebook if you'd like to grab that. It's great, it's got some elderberry syrup and some different herbal salve recipes in it. So if you're interested, you can take a look at that. Okay, if you've liked this video or found it interesting, give it a thumbs up. That helps more people find it. Share it with anybody that you know who might find it helpful. And if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I make new videos every week on traditional health wisdom and living a sustainable DIY lifestyle. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.